Hey, I'm going to tell y'all a story real quick about a guy that hung himself in prison. Okay. You were there, weren't you? Yeah, I was there. I was I was the guy who got told, hey, go get that guy, because I was standing in the back of the line. Guard didn't know he was swinging from the pull-up bar, right? Nah, he thought one of us done did it. So they done put us all on the fence and our boxers and stuff while they went and snatched him down and took him off on a little stretcher. And this dude really hung us up with his own belt. And he was just working out 10 minutes before, walking around the track. How well did you know him? Uh, he's in the same dorm as me. Any idea why he did it or what his issues were? I have no idea. He didn't have a life sentence. He had probably about eight or ten years, maybe. Maybe not even that, because he's probably been there a little while. That's not a lot of time in the prison world, is it? Yeah, it must have been a bad phone call or something, or who knows, you know what I mean? But he killed himself. He hung himself from the pull-up arm. That's terrible. Is that the only time you've seen someone commit suicide while you were in prison? Well, another person's jumped off the top tier with a sheet around their neck. And they didn't kill herself from hanging herself. They killed herself from breaking their own neck because they jumped over the railing, literally. That's scary. How old do you know that guy? Um, he's a couple rooms down from me. Played spades with him. You know what Black I mean? guy, white guy? White guy. Okay. Were you friends with uh, blacks and whites in prison or just white guys? Um, I was friends with both. We're, we're both in your in your gang? Yeah, yeah, both are in my gang for sure. So um, it wasn't a race-related gang? No, it wasn't. It's not. Was it acceptable in prison to be in two gangs, or did you have to pretty much be in one? Yeah, you can't be jumping, playing both sides of the fence. You're going to okay. get killed. Okay. What's the worst you ever saw anybody beat up in prison? Um, I've seen tons of stabbings at Graceville Correctional. Um, it's a private camp, but it's ratchet. And what I mean by ratchet is it's people are robbing people, people are stabbing people, people are hitting people in the head with locks, taking razor blades out of razors and slicing people in the canteen line, slicing child molesters and sex offenders, and people trying to earn their stripes. And I've seen a whole person's face, whole face get filleted open from their ear to their chin, you know, right there in the medication line. When you say earn their stripes, what do you mean? Like uh, somebody trying to join a gang, they might tell them, hey, there's with this guy over here in this dorm, he goes to med call at this time, he's a child molester, here's, here's the proof, you're going to earn your stripes today. You're going to go get in line and you're going to slice this dude's face and mark him without anybody seeing and make it back. Without anybody seeing? Without anybody seeing, that's going to tell. you got to pick the right spot in time because if you get caught, you're going to confinement and you're going to another camp. So you got to pull all that off just to earn your stripes for somebody else. For a group of people. You saw that happen to a lot of people? Yeah, and, and I'll tell you right now, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? You don't need it. It's not worth doing that. It's not worth cutting somebody and trying to be in a gang. It's not worth being in a gang. What advice would you give to someone who is on their way to prison? They're going to be in prison soon. What do they do? Stick to yourself. Clean up after yourself. Pay back anything you owe. Respect everybody. And mind your own damn business. If somebody does that... Will they get through it okay and not get their ass beat? Yeah, and if they do get in a fight, fight. Don't run. Don't. Just go get the fight over with. And get it out of the way, and that'll be the end of it. Everybody knows that you're not gonna, you don't want to be fucked with and that you're going to fight. And, and that's it. Nobody's going to try you again. Now, but if you do, if you're on your own and you're not in a game, don't go to the canteen window and get an $80 bag, okay, because somebody's coming to see about it. So don't get an $80 bag, meaning someone's going to come try to take your stuff? Yeah, they will try to take your stuff if you're trying to stand alone and you're not in a gang and you're just by yourself. Don't make yourself a target, basically. So just get little tiny bits from the canteen. Yeah, don't let everybody know what you got. or Your grandma sent you $100 and you start telling everybody because somebody's going to want 75 of it. They'll probably get it if they're in a gang. Right. They're coming. What's that tattoo on your eye that looks like a lightning bolt? What is that? Lightning bolt? This is just a jester spike. A jester spike. Kind of like what the clowns get, but I got mine off-centered and tribal kind of, so I made it a little bit different. What's that for? What's that mean? Um, it's just, it's just I like clowns. And uh, You ever heard of the insane clown posse? I mean, I'm an insane gangster disciple. If I go back to prison today, then that's what I'd be. But out here, I'm nothing. But Do you know what the insane clown posse is? You know what that is, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. They're the people that paint their face and rap and all that. Yeah, it's a band. It's ACP's a band. band. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks very much, man. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to Mr. Dodson about the high-speed chase from the cops that hit three different counties. Stay tuned.